Hello beautiful Pisces, welcome back to Intuitive Energies. My name <clears throat> is Jane. <laughs> I was about to joke. Oh. Let's just say it's been an interesting morning, Pisces, okay? Uh, I've been trying to do this reading like four times now and just... Uh, yeah. It, let's just say that the clarity in me has been a little bit off for today. Um, they're just... They're just throwing me all kinds of directions, and I don't know why. Maybe it'll become clearer as we go. I'm going to try this again. I'm trying to make it as clear as possible for you guys so that you don't have to put up with one of my tangents. We're trying again. <laughs> so the card that came out today was the card of listening. It also had a beautiful elephant on it, which is... Um, the elephant deck and my elephant statue, they're indicators that my mom's, my adoptive mom's energy is coming through. She doesn't per se speak, but I feel her energies around like, just like a swirling of, of, of beautiful, uplifting energy. I feel very much her, her air sign here when she is, as she was in life. Um, she passed a little over a year ago and she's still doing um, I feel like work on her energy or at least she's taking the time to I don't know it's it, it sounds like recuperate but it's not it's just kind of integrating back and maybe planning her next journey and um, I, I love having her energy because I've I've kind of said that she was she had to be part of mine so she'll always be I don't know if I could call her a guide but I feel that she's always available when I need her and I definitely love it when she chooses to show up or at least her energy does her essence and this is part of the thing listening with your heart okay some things are not always clear you can't always define things and you can't always get stuck in the details of things but it's important to listen to your heart when you listen with your heart you get the core of what's being said or what people are trying to convey and I think that's more important than anything else that can be out there in other words um, the example that they gave me is that you can present yourself in such a way, if you're trying to tell somebody you love them for the first time, you can set up rose petals and beautiful candlelit dinners and all of that stuff, but the most important message in there, the, the haiku, if you would like, is the fact that you're about to say to somebody, I love you, okay? And that is the most important part of that. Um, you could say that, okay, of course, having all of the fluff around it really makes it, you know, like, yay. But the fact that somebody just, you know, poured their heart out to you is the important message. And that's what's coming through here. Sometimes we like to talk and talk and talk. Or we listen to people talk and talk and talk. But what we should be listening is with our heart to the message that maybe is not being heard. And that's what this card is saying. I actually did read the meaning to it, so I'm not going to say, oh, it's saying the same thing. I actually did read it. Like I said, it's not my first, um, it's not my first video. So it says, an open heart will hear the message. And I like that. You're being reminded that there's a time to speak and a time to be silent, Pisces. Now is an occasion for listening. Pay attention not only to what is being spoken, but also to what is not being said at the moment. For the deeper message is not always obvious. Listen with your heart, not just your ears, and you'll find clarity. Receiving the listening card is a fortunate sign and ensures a greater understanding of your circumstances. And also did this while I was reading it. I thought to myself, there's some people who say I love you without saying I love you. The idea of saying I love you may be the fact that they plan to candle at dinner and they did plan to spend some time with you and that they kiss you passionately. Even though the words I love you have not been spoken, it has been shown in a way that if your heart is listening, you're able to hear it. So it's the hard work as well that's being put in to trying to show and convey to people what you're trying to get across, not only in love, but in, in whatever you're trying to do in your life. It could be a career change, it could be anything. If you're trying to sell a product, maybe selling the product is showing 
um, making people listen to not just the obvious product that you're selling, but everything that is beautiful about it, that kind of defines it without defining it, okay? So that's the message that I'm trying to get through here. Um, I get stuck on the presentation of this, okay? But it's also just to help you uh, get into the mood of listening, okay? Uh, there's nothing wrong with a straight table, but I find that when you come here and I talk about you know, Christmas spirit and feeling good. Beautiful white candles that shine and the red and the greens. They really put you in that feeling of, I'm happy here. I feel, you know, I feel good here. So it opens people up to being able to receive um, from the heart. Okay, so there's nothing wrong with that as long as you do not get stuck in the details of it. So, there you go. I think I finally got it, but we'll see. I hear, I see the elephant listening to music. Music also opens up your heart. I have music or songs that I listen to that instantly take me back to a time, to a place. Uh, some songs make me cry immediately upon the first few chords because they take you right there. Okay? And it's not really naming the pain or the feeling, or the time, but it is bringing you back to it. It's opening your heart. So everything that you do today, and you can take this even as a business tip, okay? A business tip or a love tip, sometimes the presentation is better than just speaking words, okay? The actions of pre presenting something. Try to present something in love or in business or anything without actually saying the words, okay? Get people to listen with their hearts or get people to actually receive with their hearts what you're trying to present to them, okay? My mother was a master presenter. She was a perfectionist. She could take a pile of crap and turn it into beauty. Um, and that was her gift, okay? Often told her when she was alive that she'd make a terrific interior decorator. Four of, of shells, soul searching and reevaluation, right? So I've given you some information right now that's exactly what that is. Because people say, be clear. What is clear? What does that really mean? When you say, let's say the word, I love you to somebody, are you being completely just clear in your intentions. Yes, that's important to say I love you. But is it it I love you mean your in actions in what you do for somebody, how you show it to them, okay? A smile, the way your eyes look when you look at them. Doesn't that convey I love you as well? So you're defining stuff and saying that People are not being clear, we're not, they're not expressing words, but are words always clear? Are they simply just definitions and words, okay? You have to redefine everything. I find that, I always said, actions speak louder than words, which is funny for somebody who spends like, you know, an hour a day talking to you. But... How do you convey it? I convey it in thoughts, in emotions, in memories. Okay, not just words. I'm not just talking at you. I'm talking with you. That's why I say okay a lot. Like you would be in the room. Like I would be telling you my secrets. Okay? And my inner thoughts. So, this is what's important. They want you to soul search. If you are looking for a way to get your idea out there, this is how you do it. Look for a different way, away from the heart. Not away, but a way from the heart. I would say away from the mind and what you're always, you've always known. The direct route works, but if you're trying to, if you're trying to ignite something in people, you have to use all of their energies, all of their senses. You see, with your words is your voice, but are you igniting anything else in them? Okay, there you go. 
Okay, so you have the shadow, and it's self-empowerment and ambition. This is a devil card. So, the devil card speaks of getting out of the cycles. The cycles, the rep repetitive cycles of same old, same old stuff. Okay? Um, we get frustrated when we try to do the same thing over and over again and expect a different result. You have the ambition and you have the empowerment to get through things. It's trusting yourself to do it. It's letting your soul talk to let you do things in a different way. And you'll find that your soul really screams at you when that happens. It will let you know. It will say, you can do it a different way. You don't have to do it this way. And you'll go, but how? Listen to your heart. What would you like out of it if you're the one being told that, um, that somebody loves you? If somebody was selling the product or the music or anything that you may be doing, how would you like to receive it? What would really touch your soul? And then work with that, okay? And just keep going forward with that. Listen. Listen with your heart. Listen with your chakras, okay? And I'll give you a little trick. The more chakras you can hit, the better. In other words, the more that you can just um, spread that energy around, whatever you're trying to accomplish, the bigger the success, trust me. Because people will, even people who are not really open to the chakras, they function with them, okay? They do function with them. That's how they get, that's, that's how they get pulled in for things. Most of the times, though, the stuff that they're selling, they're, they're cashing in on their insecurity, so they're hitting the lower chakras and all of the stuff that really um, makes us feel less. You know, like beauty products, or do you feel like you're getting old? Do you want to hide all those wrinkles, part of you that feels like you're losing your power of beauty and how to present yourself to the world? Now they're preying on those, those energies, okay, which would be the devil energies. We want to switch that around. We want to pray on the good energies, and pray is the wrong word, uplift, empower, okay? That's what we want to be doing. And trust me, that's the new world we want to be living in. That's absolutely what we want to be living in. Things that help us and make us feel good, that when we leave, we continue feeling good, okay? That's the thing with buying for nothing. We buy stuff and it gives us a high for a moment, and then we're back to feeling terrible, especially when we try the products and they don't really work. Um, that's the worst part, okay? So help create feelings that are meaningful and that last, okay? Don't do things just for show and then that leave people flat, okay? Give something that keeps giving. It goes for love too, you guys. Three of shells. Playfulness and bliss. Okay, so pro tip from spirit. Playfulness and bliss are the emotions that you want to help bring up. Now, like I said, if you're somebody who's done it the other way, they, they promise this, okay, the, the, the advertiser, they promise you'll feel great and happy and young and exuberant if. Those are promises. We don't want to be doing that. We want to give it to them right away, okay? It's not, a pro it's not, it's not just a promise of, it's an actuality, okay? So live it, Pisces. Live it, breathe it. Um, Make it yours, okay? Make it so that you offer something that they can't possibly say no to, okay? Don't be one in a million that you're selling yourself. You end up selling yourself short in the end and end up at a loss of everything because that's the world the world goes. Cheaper, faster more of. You want to be authentic. 
You want to be long lasting and you want to be something that people cannot say no to because it's just, it is just wonderful. I know I'm getting into but I've been getting signs for the last three days and I, I didn't understand what they were. Um, a lot of business acumen stuff that doesn't really relate to me anymore but one of them was make it so that people you won't have to be a bargain basement thing Pisces it'll be something that people want to say yes to because they just can't refuse and the fact that you're actually delivering on what you're offering um, will make that people will come back okay and you know you can apply that to love if you're offering love to somebody and you're offering to cherish them, live up to it. Okay? Cherish them. I'm not saying be perfect, but be heartfelt. And they'll keep coming back to you. Of course they will. Okay? Don't forget to play. A lot of people don't play anymore. They should play. We are the players. We are the players. Oh, that was that came out so wrong. That came out so wrong. But we are the players of the world. We are, and not players as in I'm going to play with your heart. Well, I guess there's some of the of us that do that too. But we are the players. I mean, the imaginative, beautifully, um, the fairyland type of yeah people. We are. We have a lot of fun with us. Okay. If you can unlock a Pisces, and I know you guys will agree with me, if you can unlock a Pisces imagination and be that partner, mm, a lot of fun there, okay? Two of acorns, insight, focus, right? So, it's all about planning again. But, it's thinking innovatively, okay? And in a very positive way. And the way they're showing me is that they don't want you to stop and think of perfection. Perfection is the very last thing they want you to do here. They want you to add to your fire, to your passion. Okay? When you're bringing out something, when you're starting out with somebody, you don't need to reveal the entire package. They're saying if you surprise somebody by, um, by showing them how much you care about them. It's okay that you haven't shown them everything. It's about thinking innovatively. It's about keep bringing it on. Okay? Keep bringing it to them, in other words. That's how you keep it good. You don't want to show everything all at once. You know, it's, it's, then what are you going to do? Okay? Keep it fresh. Keep it good. Don't worry about having all the components right away. Sometimes it's good to reveal a little more and a little more as you go. It shows the potential. It shows the progress. It shows more to discover. Okay? So, be happy. Be blissful. Be content. Keep working at it, Pisces. You can absolutely do this, okay? Um, there's no problem there. The Eight of Crystals, dedication and progress. There you go. You have the Eight again, okay? This was the Eight. It's the Eight of, of, of Pentacles. It's exactly what this is. This is um, savory kind of work, okay? that craftsmanship, that dedication to detail, that attention to detail but not getting stuck by detail, it's figuring out that little extra, okay? Like the person who figured out to, you know, hide the ring in the champagne glass, that kind of detail when they're, you know, um, about to propose, that stuff, okay? Not saying that, well, somebody might be thinking of doing that, or you know, it's all those little things. It's that little nugget that took a bit, but when it was discovered, it was like done by everybody because it's so great. It's focused and and yummy. That's what I keep getting. Yummy kind of things that make life worth living, that make people want to be around you, purchase your products, fall in love with you, you name it. It's all of that kind of thing. So it's kind of an interesting thing. It all does come back to the heart though, Pisces. Make it come from the heart. Make it special. Listen with your heart and talk from the heart 
and sometimes silence is golden. Sometimes words um, don't convey what you could do in actions. So this is all kind of coming through. It kind of just wrapped up really nice. At the beginning, I really, uh, I've had such a morning of, you know, nuts. So I, um, I'm surprised that that actually came as clearly and as beautifully as it did. But all, everything about this is exquisite and beautiful. This is like the best, um, for me, the best story ever of success. And it doesn't have to do with um, getting everything perfect. It's getting what you do have. Uh, it's, it's doing what you do perfectly well. <laughs> so there you go. Okay. I hope that's clear. I hope that's clear to you. Anyway, I will be doing um, <laughs> the extended later. And tomorrow we are going to be looking at the full moon in Cancer. So mm, we're going to see what that brings. And I'm going to pull out my moonology, my new cards again. That's going to always, that's always a lot of fun. But we're not going to get our head up ourselves. Although I do like to do that. But this is really good. Um, I'm going to pick the deck here to do the, I think I'm going to pick the gold deck. I did take it out and I think that gold nugget type of information is really coming through. I hope you've enjoyed this Pisces. I did. Um, I hope it's helped you. Um, I think it has with me too. Yeah, I think it has with me too. I'm going to see if I can implement any of this anywhere in my life and coming to Christmas the being the thought that it's the thought and I think I would say it's the thought in the heart that counts rather than um actually the actions do count it's everything Pisces it's just not just words okay just keep that in mind it's not just the directness of your words sometimes you can convey more with your actions that's pretty much what I'm getting from this and it's um um, pointed actions, like definite actions that you're doing one thing at a time, not a whole bunch. Okay. Anyway, so I'm going to leave you with this because I'm going to start babbling for another five minutes for nothing. And I will see you later, Pisces. Take care, love, light, and blessings as always.